Uh, hi, my name is Laura Merriweather. I'm a fourth year PhD student in the Department of Immunology and Inflammation, and I'm doing my PhD in the Hemostasis and Thrombosis Lab. The main thing I wish I'd known was that it's completely okay for things not to go to the plan that you initially set. So when you first start, you kind of have an idea of what your project's gonna be. You have a list of aims and you think, oh, okay, I can you know, conduct these experiments, go through my aims, and it's gonna come along nicely across the three, four years that you have. However, for the vast majority of people, that doesn't actually happen and that's completely okay. Often things that you think you're going to research don't actually, you know, come to fruition. And by doing that, and the failures that you kind of have along the way, you often open new doors or go down different avenues, which actually end up being potentially more exciting or more interesting to you. So I would just say, I wish I'd known that it's completely okay for certain things to fail because often that leads to more exciting or new things. Highlights often, or for me at least, the highlights have been presenting work at big or international conferences. Um, so not only is it exciting to present to leaders or experts in the field that you're working in, but also it gives you a lot of kind of growth in your communication skills. You learn how to present your work to lots of people confidently and clearly, which is something that I didn't necessarily have that kind of skill set before. Um, and as well, personally, it really allows you to take a step back from the day to day um, kind of minutiae of lab work where you often get bogged down in small details and actually see how far you've come along. You kind of step back and then you can really assess how you've, your projects come along from the start and where you are now. So yeah, that's been a, a highlight for me. As an undergrad degree, I did quite a broad biomedical science um, degree. And so I had come across the area of thrombosis and hemostasis in that in lectures and I really enjoyed it as a subject and so during my undergrad I um, spoke to my now supervisor and we managed to um, organize a summer internship or summer kind of project role which allowed me to have some kind of idea of what researching in that particular field was like and I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed working with everyone in the lab and I got on very well with my supervisors and so that kind of was how I decided to go into that area of research. So not only did I just find it interesting, but I think the other things are important too, like being comfortable in the lab, getting on with all the other postdocs, students, and your supervisors particularly. So yeah. I would say the biggest challenge of the PhD is kind of maintaining motivation and having the resilience to carry on when things don't go to plan, because that is a large part um, of the, the PhD experience, like coming across hurdles and then really having the motivation to continue to try and tackle them even when it's not going exactly how you want it to go. Um, so yeah, just kind of having the resilience to carry on, keep trying to find new ways to solve the problem because eventually you will find a solution or you will kind of find a way to overcome that even if it's going down a different route. And that's really satisfying when you, you really keep at something and eventually you get the breakthrough. So apart from obviously all the specific scientific skills, it's actually taught me quite a lot of broader transferable skills. Um, so as I kind of said, the resilience part of it is I think important, being able to really just keep on going in the face of things not going to plan. That's been very useful for all other aspects of your life too, really building up that kind of self-motivation and resilience. Um, obviously problem solving skills, I think you develop a lot of as well because often things don't go to plan. You have to try and find new ways to tackle certain problems and again that kind of can apply to lots of areas of your life being able to look at things from a different perspective um, and as well I would say you kind of develop a lot of skills being able to work both independently and as a team so a lot of the time things or, or problems that you're facing you do have to work on them individually try and sit down and actually think okay how do I approach this or how do I go about this differently? But at the same time as you working as an individual, you have to take on board advice from your supervisors. You need the input from lots of other people as well. So trying to manage the team aspect or the collaborative aspect, as well as working on it as an individual, I'd say is quite an important skill to have.